Hello everyone, my name is Zach Kinsler and I'm excited to tell you about BoodleBox AI. Before we explore the platform, I wanna highlight a few core principles that are important to us here at BoodleBox. First and foremost is security. You need to know that all of the large language models I'm about to show you are not allowed to train on any of your data. Your prompts are completely anonymized and all knowledge is encrypted end to end. This ensures that your intellectual property and student data will always remain completely safe. Next, we are committed to being environmentally friendly. Our platform uses up to about 80% fewer tokens per call that significantly reduces our processing power, making us both environmentally conscious and incredibly cost-effective. We also strongly believe in collaboration and equitable access to AI. We think that multiple large language models and multiple humans should be able to work together. That is the future of work and no student should have to pay more money to get a better AI platform. Finally, finally, BoodleBox is all about AI literacy. We want to empower educators and students to understand how to effectively use AI. So now let's jump into the platform. Before we jump into using AI, I want to touch on a few features that we have available here at BoodleBox. First is the AI tools. So these will bring you into doing exactly what they say they do. So a text summarizer, you can upload a document, it'll summarize the text. Uh, and as you can see, you can come over here, switch the experience to educator and admin, and these tools will switch. And if you want to filter, they're also available here. Uh, so first, I want to jump in and start a new chat. So tell me about recent AI news. So Perplexity is going to go search the internet just like Perplexity does. And while that's going, I want to walk you through the models we have available at BoodleBox. These are our favorites. PromptBot will take your prompt, make it better, and tell you how and why it made it better. But I want to walk you through the AI models we have available. ChatGBT, all of their models, all of Claude's models, all of Google Gemini's models, 2.5 Pro. Inflection Pi, this is an emotionally intelligent AI, it's my favorite. Uh, Meta's Llama, Amazon's models, Mistral's models, uh, Web Research, Perplexity, and Semantic Scholar. And if I were to heart this, it would become available on my popular models. Uh, image generation, all of these image generation models. Uh, and we have a bunch of BoodleBots. So what these BoodleBots will do is they're just custom GBTs that we've built here at BoodleBox, and they're for very specific reasons. We work with about 100 faculty members from around the world, and they've built these bots. These are built by teachers for teachers. They're great at doing exactly what they say they do. Uh, we also have custom bots available, which I'll get into. But then we have DiscoverBot, uh, help me with math. So I can search whatever I want to do, and it will call up bots that recommend. Uh, so perplexity search the internet. So I can come here and I can click these live links. Perplexity does exactly what Perplexity does. It searches the internet and gives me live links. These are also available through sources here. And as you can see, one thing here is available that isn't available on Perplexity. It's prompt engineering tips. So what we really lean into here at BoodleBox is AI literacy. And these will go from prompt engineering tips to feature discovery to like sequences you should follow while using AI. This teaches students and faculty how to use AI while using it. And you can turn that on through coach mode. It's available over all models. So what I wanna show you is how the models can communicate with one another. So I'm gonna go at, when you do at, it will call a different model. I'm gonna do at ChatGBT 4.0. Summarize the importance of above for a student. So ChatGBT is going to go read what I said and it's gonna give me information. And one thing I wanna to touch on while this is going is BoodleBox's security. No models are trained on any of our data. And on top of that, all prompts are anonymized and all knowledge is encrypted. We are FERPA compliant. We're all of the acronyms that are important for security. Security is our number one concern here at BoodleBox. And as you can see, there's alternative approaches. It will help me use AI while I'm using AI. So one thing I wanna show next is if I grab this link and I sent it to whoever is listening to this video, we could work in a group chat. And I'll show you an example of that. But before we get to the example, I want to show a few things. If I wanted to attach knowledge, if I wanted to upload a PDF to this document, I'd click this paperclip, also available here. And then this will bring me where I can upload it directly, or I can click from my knowledge bank. And from my knowledge bank, I could go over here in the top left. And this is where I can upload documents. I can organize them. I can bring them here. Uh, but I'm going to jump back into the chat, and we're going to look at examples of group chats. Uh, and also the chats are ranked by days. You can filter those by group chats, personal chats. So let's look at a group chat. A group chat high level, you can see that these are the students that are in the group chat and this is the group chat. So one thing you notice probably is that there's no output from a large language model here. So what you can do in BoodleBox is you can switch to message mode because we don't believe there's enough human AI interaction in the human AI interaction. So what that allows students to do is communicate with one another and multiple LLMs. So these students are having a conversation. They call ChatGBT into the conversation. ChatGBT completely understands what's going on. They continue. They call Claude in and they continue and they call Perplexity in. 
Uh, and then as an educator, what you're capable of doing is jumping in the group chat saying, summarize how everyone was exchanging above and AI can go look how the students were using AI. I understand that you might have tons of students in your class. So one thing that we've built is a intricate folder system. And this folder system is really just a skeleton of our AI assignments that we'll be releasing soon. But what faculty can do is grab this three links here and share this with their student on an LMS or in an email. And then once they're shared with a student, a student can add a folder with their first and last name. And then the educator has complete access to everything going on here. So the student or the teacher shared an assignment, which is chat with a digital marketing assistant. Uh, and the students can come complete the assignment. And I, as the educator, can hop in and look at exactly how the students completed the assignment. I can see that Jane Roberts, this is how she was prompting. This is the output she was getting. And if I wanted to, I could leave messages. I could prompt for her. I could say, hey, Jane, you should try perplexity. Uh, and I do understand that you don't want to be reading a bunch of open AI or Boodle box outputs all the time. So what you can do is you can grab this, add it to the knowledge bank, and then you can treat this document like a PDF. So I could come over here. I could upload a rubric that is ethical AI usage, and I could upload Jane Roberts folder, and AI could go look how the students were using AI. AI in, AI out can be a bit counterintuitive at times. There's some really cool examples that you could do with our custom bots, and that's in the top left here. And this Boodle bot is very similar to building a custom GBT if you've done that before, but you write your instructions. But the unique thing is you can pick which model powers the backend. Uh, then I can come to settings here, give a description, a greeting, a name, upload knowledge. And when I upload knowledge, what that'll do is it'll fine tune that bot on a specific example and I'll show an example of that. Uh, but if I've never done this before, I can come to bot builder. I can say, help me build a tutor bot for my English. One course. So this is going to go write all of those instructions and at the bottom it's going to ask me questions. Uh, as you can see, it's gonna get all of that and I can copy and paste that back into the other example. Uh, so while this is going, I'm gonna show another example of how we can use a custom bot. It's a for sharing with students. So I'm gonna start a new chat. If you go at, at, that will bring your custom bots here and I can click on chapter one bot, hello. So what chapter one bot is gonna do is gonna treat me like a TA. It's gonna Tutor me, it's gonna ask me questions. So I'm gonna say I wanna answer practice questions. It's gonna go look at the textbook and then it's gonna ask me a question and I'm going to answer that question. So it's answering the question. When I get it wrong, it's gonna tell me how and why I got it wrong and where I can find that I can get it right. So what faculty can do is they can share this with all their students and they can have all of their students move to a folder where they can submit their chats. Then the teachers can add that folder into a different chat and say, holistically, what's the number one thing my students don't understand? AI can go look at every single chat and help this faculty member get a better understanding of where their students are at, really upgrading them. Uh, finally, the last thing I want to mention is that if students use BoodleBox for two, three, four years, all of the folders that they created, all the custom bots that they have built, they can switch their user email. See, mine is a school email. If I wanted to change it to my work email, I could bring all of BoodleBox with me. So inherently what you're doing by using BoodleBox is building an AI literacy resume that you can bring with you into the real world. I'm sorry that was so fast. Uh, this is a 30,000 foot view. There's so much more that you can do with BoodleBox. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I appreciate you.